Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we are going to show you one interesting part of our server and that is Adventurous Guild. So as you can see when you spawn you are looking at Wild Portal but this is behind you. So why is that that? Because you know when you spawn players just like we will run to the Wild Portal and they want to get play. But anyways Adventurous Guild as you can see you go back here and into the portal and you are teleported into this amazing world. Now, from this guy are already finished his quest, but you can take a quest to meet the NPCs around here and he will give you a Magma Guys toothpick, a unique weapon and a 750 elite coins. Now, what are elite coins? Well, those are the coins that you can upgrade your guild. I will show you that quickly and that you can spend in the Adventurers Guild, well, Adventurers Guild shop. So as you can see, Gillian, the guy, he upgrades your guild. And as you can see, yeah, it doesn't say here, but anyways, the higher your guild rank is, the more loot, uh, the more and better loot you get, but also the monsters are stronger for you. So basically it's, you win some, you lose some. You get stronger monsters but also you get stronger gear then you have the quest giver which obviously gives the quests as you can see you can ch check guild request objective reward and if you want if you s looks like like something you can do you just accept it so for example this guy wants us to kill level 20 elite guardians 4 well how about no but the reward is Pretty good actually. The hammer. Hmm, I'm gonna take this quest and finish it later. Anyways, let's proceed. And as you can see from the side, it actually shows the tracker. You can do this. You can access the menu of the elite bosses by typing slash em space menu. And as you can see, you can have two types of menus. You can have like GUI menu. Or you can do, hold on, Elite Mobs Alternative, which will be the bug menu. Now, some players like bug menu, some players like GUI menu, it's totally up to you if you decide. They serve the same function, but yeah, maybe one or another is a bit more clearer to see. But anyways, as you can see, when you take a quest, it, well, you can track it in here and Hold on, hold on. Up, nope. nope. I don't want to track a Santa Claus in different world. As you can see, you can also track the vo world bosses, and you can untrack them. This is the Bartley. He is currently not implemented. Here you have two dungeons that are recommended for a group, as you can see. So yeah, those are level 50 and level 85. Again, I doesn't. I don't recommend you go in them if you just join the server. And you probably did if you are watching this video. Anyways, let's speed through this. So this is the blacksmith, he sells gear. And this is the special blacksmith, he sells charms. How do you ac activate charms? Pretty simple. You just put them in your half hand and they will activate. For example, as you can see, the effects have swords. So those effects will activate when in combat. So as you can see, they have swords and shield so probably those effects will also activate if you get hit as in defense but yeah and this is active all the time the fire resistance for example but yeah as you can see there are custom enchants anyways let's not waste our time let's go meet the other npcs that you will actually do through the quests you got repairmen you repair your elite mobs items here with the scrap from the scrapper guy so he scraps the your loot. I don't have any loot there. Oh, I have the loot, but I don't want to scrap it. And then you go to him and you can repair if you have your scrap to full durability. Anyways, we got three more guys. So unbinder, he basically unbinds your items. So each item you get is bound to you, unless there's some other special occasion. Now, what does bound to you mean? It means that if you drop it, others can't pick it up 
until you unbound it. Now you can get unbind scrolls from the world crate, so yeah, that's that. But yeah, he is useful. But again, the unbound scrolls to respect the balance are not everywhere. Then you have Smelter, which actually smelts your scrap. So you put 25 scrap and he smelts it into an item upgrade orb. Now, some of the features of this plugin are not yet ready. We are waiting on updates, but again, you can try it out for yourself. But one important feature that this plugin offers and that we use utilize on our server are dungeons. As you can see, the dungeons, you can go, you spawn there and you need to locate this tower. And what can you find in the tower, you might be wondering? Well, you can find a lot of dungeons that you can go in, raid alone with your friends, dog, uncle, sister, whatever you, whoever you bring. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of them. Anyways, the Primus Adventure is recommended because it levels up your gear from level 0 to level 20 if you are new on server and want to straight jump into, well, elite mobs. And yeah, as you can see, for example, you go in here and you spawn on the island where the villager expedition leader waits for you. And he got a task for you. And then you go on adventure on this whole island. I won't show you, I won't spoil all of this for you. I'll let you explore. But for example, let's go into some other portals. So as you can see, there's catacombs layer. So catacombs layers are basically smaller like arena. Uh, the portals have a bit of cooldown. But as you can see, the catacombs layer, those are smaller overworld arenas that you can find around the world, but you can only access through portal from Adventurer's Guild. Then the mini dungeons are, well, a um, bit bigger dungeons, which consist of, let me show you, a bit more land area, as you can see. It's a whole boat with a boss mob or two, and pirates that want to shoot me. I don't want to get shot. And then, last one, you have, so layer, layer, as you can see, you have adventure. Now, what is the adventure? It's like Primus, and it is whole world to explore for you. And this time, it's Oasis, as you can see. But anyways, I won't spoil that for you, I'll leave that for you to explore. And there's one small thing in the Adventurer's Guild that you might be using, it's actually pretty good for leveling up your skills and it's this round structure. It's basically arena and you can come here and well challenge the arena. Again, you will probably die, but you can increase your skills, which will again get better over time. So yeah, that's basically up to you. Anyways, Thank you guys for watching, I hope you learned something new from this video, if you did not, well, ask down in the comments, on Discord, on server, we will answer the questions. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and, well, what can I say, then see you guys next time, and have a nice day, bye!